Language as the most effective instrument of communication, hence education, cultural autonomy. It allows the transmission of knowledge from one generation to another and is a strong force in disseminating culture and tradition of a people and factor of development in general. On the other hand, the cyberspace as a notional environment in which communication over computer networks occur allows users to share information, interact in social fora, to engage in discussions and exchange ideas, conduct business and create intuitive media, among many other activities. Undoubtedly, the cyberspace plays a major role in underscoring the importance of digitizing African languages to contribute to the realization of the vision of the African Academy of Languages, ACALAN, to develop and promote African languages as a factor of African integration and development. To continue fulfilling its mandate more effectively and raising its visibility, ACALAN is promoting African languages in the cyberspace as one of its core projects. ACALAN, as a specialized institution of the African Union mandated to develop and promote African languages so they can be used in all domains of public life, including the communication, education and science and technology sectors, on the 2nd and 3rd of October 2019, organized a workshop in Bamako on the development of a comprehensive and interactive platform for its organs and working structures and partners to bridge the six-inch gap between the computer and the African. The objectives of the workshop were to determine methods to equip African languages by adding value to their presence in the cyberspace and applying human language technology to them. Find appropriate means of developing operational frameworks as well as data treatment for the effective instrumentalization of African languages. Draw a roadmap for developing a comprehensive and interactive platform for ACALAN's organs, working structures and partners in view of raising their visibility. Put in place a technical committee or working group to fast track the development of the ACALAN comprehensive and interactive platform and database. Identify and assess works on African languages and their presence in the cyberspace. The workshop was attended by resource persons and experts in African languages and ICT and stakeholders, a member of the Assembly of Academicians of ACALAN who is an expert in the domain, members of the ACALAN Secretariat and representatives of the host country. The chairperson of the opening session, Professor Marcel Diki Kidiri, a member of the Assembly of Academicians of Akalan in his speech, urged the young African generation to take part in the digital technology in African languages. Qui comprend toutes les langues qui nous préoccupent et interactives, c'est-à-dire dans lequel chacun d'entre nous peut entrer, discuter, donner des idées, en recevoir et agir de manière rapide et en temps réel. He highlighted three categories of experts whose representatives should be included in the process. Computer experts, language experts and experts in the culture of the languages concerned. He finally called on Akalan's vehicular cross-border language commissions to become more involved in the process. Mr. Adama Samaseku, founding executive secretary of Akalan, also called for the need to operationalize language commissions through the platform to be set up. He suggested that ACALAN be transformed to an organ of the African Union. The Executive Secretary of ACALAN, Dr. Lang Fafa Dampfer, began his welcome address by thanking all participants and the authorities of the Republic of Mali. He outlined a number of obstacles that may hinder the smooth progress of the process of digitization of African languages, as well as the harmonization of the writing of African languages. Um, ICT, Information and Communication Technology, is vast, so we need to listen, even if we are here, purposely to create this comprehensive and interactive platform. Then there are other aspects that are linked to that, as uh, I mean, experts have said, so we need to be as inclusive as possible. Now we want to practicalize what we are doing. We want to be pragmatic, we want to get to real concrete things 
so that people anyway can see that Africa has this platform developed by uh, 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 it's an African institution that is dealing with language matters on the continent and we will put many 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 things, lots and lots of things there and uh, harmonization will be there uh, what Mrs. Dorothy is saying you know, the business aspect will be incorporated in it and will be inclusive enough and we go ahead. He ended by reminding participants of the main objective of the workshop, which is the effective instrumentation of African languages in cyberspace. On behalf of the Minister of Communication in charge of relations with institutions, spokesperson for the government, Dr. Usmani Bamba, took the floor and explained the reason for the Honorable Minister's absence who was in Geneva when Akalan's invitation letter was sent. He said that the invitation was so important to the Honorable Minister that he was assigned to represent him. He welcomed the participants and recalled that African languages and digital tools had been a topical issue since 2000. However, the problem is the lack of organization, not the lack of expertise or competence. He invited experts in the field to do more localization of Google, Apple, Facebook and Amazon GAFA in African languages to transmit content in African languages and to march fearlessly into the digital world. He concluded by suggesting that the name of the platform should be such that it renders Akalan's visibility. The participants made these presentations in line with the current situation and prospects for the digitization of African languages. The presentation by Professor Odetunji Odejobi, Nigeria, on digitization of folk tales, youth and children, dealt with the importance of language in a society based on the adages and riddles of Yoruba culture. He added the need to take into account African realities through the sounds, illustrations and texts of a tale in a comic strip. The presentation by Dr. Lawrence Mukemi, Kenya, entitled Comprehensive and Interactive Platform for Akalan's Working Structures and Partners, discussed a model roadmap which would be a factor to accelerate the promotion of African languages. His presentation also mentioned the sources of funding, in particular crowdfunding and sponsorship by economic operators. Professor Langa Kumalo, South Africa, presented on the theme Computational Linguistics, which demonstrated the reason... African languages should be developed in the South African context. The focus of Professor Kumalo's presentation was integration of programs such as spelling checkers, text-to-speech software, and concordance into the platform. Mrs. Angela Herman Kilusungu, Tanzania, made her presentation on broadcasting, cloud advertising, radio and online TV advertising. Her presentation highlighted the importance of the presence of African languages on digital networks. Dr. Martin Benjamin, Switzerland, presented on the theme Platform for the Development of African Languages. He presented on the contents of the Kamusi platform that takes into account all languages. He stressed the data aspects for the development of the platform, including linguistic data. Mr. Mandela Dukure, Mali, made his presentation on the problem of creating a platform in African languages, solution and situation in Mali. The audience was able to note salient points such as problems, solutions and the digital content in African languages on the continent in general and in Mali in particular. He concluded his presentation with a proposal for a forum to be integrated into the Akalan platform. Mr. Isiaka Balu, Mali, presented on digital platforms and products in the field of digital technology in African languages from creation to operation. He made participants understand the need to develop specifications in the implementation of the platform. He also explained the different steps to follow in the creation of a digital platform. In conclusion, Mr. Balu demonstrated five digital products that he developed in Malian languages. Professor Moses Efiong Ekpayong, Nigeria, made his presentation on intelligent humanities towards high performance that discussed the challenges facing human intelligence. He then went on to present some digital productions made in African languages, such as computational resources, applications, and Unicode characters made on voice recognition. Dr. Hussein Ahmed Asowe Djibouti made his presentation on strategies and methods for computerizing poorly endowed languages. The main points of his presentation were on the reduction of development costs and the resources to be implemented, word processing, oral processing, translation, optical character recognition, resources, dictionaries.
Ms. Kwasi, Karanta Foundation, presented on Synergy of Actions by Akalan and the Karanta Foundation. Her presentation focused on a brief introduction of the Karanta Foundation, the framework for collaboration between Akalan and the Karanta Foundation, and the role that the Karanta Foundation could play in creating the platform. The presentation of Ms. Dorothy Gordon, Ghana, Chairperson of UNESCO's Information for All Programme, IFAP, focused on access, preservation, production, and development of information. She talked about how to raise funds for the cause of African languages and proposed the strengthening of collaboration between UNESCO IFAP Project and Akalan. It was recommended at the end of the workshop that Akalan mobilizes African economic operators to take an interest in language issues, develops a multilingual platform in African languages, including English and French, has sections on the platform on fora, research and partners, involves women in its meetings and encourage them to apply for language studies, especially in computational linguistics. At the end of the workshop, a committee to develop Akalan's comprehensive and interactive platform was set up with the following experts. Professor Marcel Dikikidiri, member of Akalan's Assembly of Academicians and coordinator, supervisor of African languages and the cyberspace program. Professor Langa Kumalo, South Africa. Dr. Lawrence Mukemi, Kenya, manager of Akalan's comprehensive and interactive platform. Professor Charles Martha, Ghana. Ms. Angela Herman Kilisungu, Tanzania. Dr. Martin Benjamin, Switzerland. Dr. Tunde Adigbola, Nigeria. Mr. Mandela Dukure, Mali. Mr. Isiaka Balo, Mali. Professor Moses Efiong Ekpeong, Nigeria. Dr. Hussein Ahmed Asowi, Djibouti. It was agreed that the presentations will be published in Kuala Akalan's journal. Thank you.